somewhere in 2020, I had successfully passed my IELTS test and my CBT exams. I had amassed excellent scores in both exams and I was ready for a nursing job in the United Kingdom. But there was a problem. I had just a national service experience, so what I used to ask myself is, how could I compete with the other applicants with 5 years, 10 years, and to a large extent, 20 years of nursing experience? And would a potential employer hire me over someone with 10 years of nursing experience? I mean, I kept wondering. I knew the answer was a big no. So I started doing the following. Number 1. Volunteering I had to go back to where I undertook my national service to work. I needed the experience and not the money. I remember at that time, a senior colleague at the emergency department took me in. I go to work anytime he's on duty and gradually my confidence level heightened. Number 2. Learning interview tips I had not gotten a UK nursing job yet, but I was hopeful. I knew one day I would learn on one, so I commenced mastering some interview tips way before time. 3. Right, telling a story Besides code, if there is something that made me successful in my NHS interviews, then it is the power of telling a story. I used it in my first interview, it worked and then I decided to try it in the second, third and then the fourth, and they all worked. Trust me, telling a story has worked in all areas of my job interviews. Putting out a good CV and then supporting information. I found out that my words as a young guy looking for a job abroad lies in my CV. My CV or supporting information goes to the hiring manager first. He only invites me to see me face to face or virtually if he is pleased with what I've said on the CV. My mentor used to tell me that your CV tells the employer your price tag. Are you a cheap commodity or an expensive one? The answer is derived from the appearance of your CV. It is my first impression of me to the manager. I learned to create good ones for all the jobs I did apply for. Identifying your strengths and weaknesses. If there are any pieces of advice I will give to you, I will say today, do yourself a favor to know your prowess and then your potholes. During the time of searching for jobs, I discovered one thing about myself. I wasn't a confident speaker. Imagine I'm asked a question during an interview session and I'm speaking like somebody who isn't sure of what he's saying. No employer will hire me. My mentor will say, speak confidently even if the answer is wrong. I started working on my speaking skills. Continuous learning. No man knows everything, but if you want to know much, you must continue learning. Try all the apps and let's see how they help you too, because they did help me.